Oh, that one looks like a gorgeous specimen too. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> what a gorgeous blue Oh, those sedless. pores are so white. Oh, those are awesome. I, I'm so looking forward to try those. We've got the rings. This might be a honey mushroom. Welcome to Utah Mushroom Hunter. We're uh, up in the Hyuinas. I'm with some good people. I'm with Adam and Holly. And they're going to come along with my hunt with me today. And uh, we're going to see if we can find some porcinians. We are, so again, we are in the Hyuinas. This is the first time I've actually searched specifically in the Hyuinas for the king mushrooms, the Bleda Satellus, uh this year. And uh, we're at an area that I found them in the past. And uh, um, uh, hopefully we can find some great porcini. You probably find a lot of other kind of mushrooms too. But uh, anyway, we're excited. And let's get hunting mushrooms. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually just getting started, and we just found this along the trail. It had been cut off, so we just cut it off and left it there. Um, we're going to cut it in half and just see how buggy this actually is. You want to cut it in half? You know, I'm gonna let him do this. You are perfect. I don't trust myself. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's yeah, it does look like it's gonna oh, be yeah. pretty buggy. It's just coming right open. Yeah. But oh, anyway, sorry. it is a bleed of subtilis, a nice big one. And yeah, pretty buggy. So we'll probably leave that one. But we're gonna find some awesome mushrooms today. We've I've already found some swillis and some rosella that I haven't shown on the video yet. But uh, I'll show a lot of them as we're hunting. All right, so here's another one we just came upon. And notice that scabbing on the top. And it's huge. Look how big that is. That's probably eight or nine inches across. That is going to be a, an Amanita. Oh, look how, how rotten that thing is. It wasn't even in the ground anymore. But uh, yeah, that's definitely an Amanita. Um, we're going to leave that alone. Uh, it's old and yuck anyway but we found our first amanita all right so adam just found this mushroom let's see what this is it's uh, got a white top all right so it's actually two mushrooms that were kind of stuck together and uh when it, when you have a mushroom with that flat top and the white gills like that that uh go straight to the stem like that you know that there uh, this is not one that I consider edible I mean it could be there's a there's a uh, a dozen or so mushrooms that this could be that look similar to this and I have I don't know these ones very well because none of them are good edibles and there's some that are toxic so I'm gonna leave that one there here's one that looks like it could be a cilius a swillus I mean and it uh, also could be gilled. Let's see what this is. Okay, yeah, that is definitely a swillus, uh, but it's a variety that I, I'm not used to seeing. I'm gonna leave it there because I'm I've never been a fan of the swilluses either. But um, the swilluses are typically edible. I'm gonna leave that there though. Interesting mushroom. Okay, so here's a a, a mushroom ring that Holly had found. Um, these are not going to be edibles. These, not we're not going to eat these. But just look how pretty and fun that is. You got the the outside of the ring here, and it protrudes clear over there. Fun little spot. All right. So Adam just found this bird's nest fungi. It hasn't opened up yet, but here shortly that'll open up, and you can see little uh, little round things in there, uh, like a bird's nest. I found those in uh, one of my recent videos, and I can't remember the scientific name for it, but uh, it's a, a fun little mushroom. All right, so as we're right there uh, showing you the bird's nest fungi, Adam turned around and he's like, look what we have here. And there's our first in the ground, Aletus atlas, and that one looks like it's in great shape. Oh, that one looks like a gorgeous specimen too. That'll be a fun one. There's a rosola. We are seeing quite a few rosola here. There's another one right over here. Uh, 
And uh, when you get up in these high elevations, if you're seeing the Rosola quite often, you'll find the Belitis edilis as well. You can see holy, holy is just about to to uh, pull this out of the ground. You want to go ahead and, and yeah, harvest for it? Sure. Mm, look at that. <laughs> What a gorgeous blue Oh, those sedless. pores are so white. Yeah, they're that nice and white. That is amazing. That is going to be a good one. It'll be very tasty. <laughs> that, that's like uh, the perfect age to, to harvest them because mm -hmm. that's not going to be wormy yet. Mm -mm. Maybe a little bit smaller, but still that is a really good size. Oh, yeah. Holly, nice job finding that one. Oh, I, I guess that was Adam who <laughs> found it first. It's a team effort. <laughs> team effort. All right, so Adam found another one here. Look at this bleedus atlas. A little bit smaller one. But that's going to be perfect, delicious. Holly's going to come in here and harvest it. Let's see what we got here. Wow, it's deep under there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I cannot believe how perfect these are. That mm. first one we found was like uh, way mature, but these last two are just perfect. Nice find. <laughs> so look, look what Adam just found here, another Amanita muscaria. That one's not quite as old, but still pretty old. You can see how that stem is just falling apart. In fact, if you look careful, you can see the worms coming out of it. Look at those worms. <laughs> they still like, I, they still like the uh, toxins in there, I guess. They're probably all high. <laughs> Having a good time. Yeah, and again, as I always say with these Amanitas, I do not recommend you eat these at all. You know, uh, I just leave them alone. This looks like some, uh, probably a Suillus again. Let's see if that's what we have. Yeah, it sure is. Again, you can tell by the bottom that that is a Suillus. Again, that's an edible mushroom, but I, I don't harvest them. I don't use them. I focus in on the ones I consider choice. But a lot of people do like those mushrooms. There's a couple of buttons that Holly just found. Nice job. So I think that's, uh, is that five per Four. CD? Four so far, I think. So long, oh, I mean. Besides the one that you found. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, the, the one huge early. one. Yeah, so we found five per CD so far. Oh, nice cool. job. It's a big, huge rustler. Yeah, that's not an eater, but a cool mushroom. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's another porcini that Holly just found. Still a, a, a young button, but it's perfect eating. That's going to be great. Yeah, beautiful porcini. All right, so here's something interesting that um, Holly found. Why don't you go ahead and pull it up? Let's see what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we gotta do a little more digging. Oh, it's a Rosola. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see those oh, browns. Yeah. Very young uh, oh, button wow. Rosola. Look at that. On the stalk, it's very purple. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's another one that we just found. Look at that. That one is worm riddled, but a great big Belitis atlas. You want me to pull it? Yeah, go ahead got, and pull I it. I got you. I'll deal with I'll do. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be soft oh, okay. and gucky. Not <laughs> just, as nice as some of those others. I'm just going to not look. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, yummy. 100% <laughs> of bleed is atlas, but uh, we'll leave that for the chipmunks and the worms. Yeah. Well. Look how green those gills get when they're mature. I don't know if you can see that or not, but super green. I'm finding a lot of this Soilus. Again, the swillists have that yellow honeycomb-like bottom. Finding a lot of those. All right, so I think I see one here popping up. Let's see if this is gonna be one. It sure looks like it. Got some decent size to it. It's a swillist. That one fooled me. I thought it was gonna be a Belitis atlas based on that cap, but it is a swillist. Dang. All right, so looks like we have something here. These are, um, they look kind of orange. 
Well, look at that. We found a chanterelle. These are our first chanterelles for the day. I was just telling uh, Adam and Holly that I was hoping to find some chanterelles. Look at that. That is great. Cool. Chanterelles. I'm hoping to find a bunch more of those. All right, so there's where the, what those chanterelles look like. Well, those are awesome. I, I'm so looking forward to try those. There's some fun little puff balls again. All right, uh, Holly found this one. Nice uh, little bleed atlas again. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Go ahead and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, nice little button again. Mm -hmm. Perfect for eating. Oh, the articulation is super pretty. Wow. Maybe, wait. It might be a sweetest. It might be a sweetest. It's another something here. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah, it's already breaking. Oh, oh a it's a Russell. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. All right, here's a couple interesting mushrooms. The first one here is, is what Adam found. And uh, it is a, you know, well, first off, before I tell you what it is, look how fat that base is. So that kind of throws you off. It makes you think it maybe it's a different kind of mushroom. But this is a Suillus. It's, it's a young one. The underneath part, they, there's pores there that'll widen out and uh, and you'll get that honeycomb look as soon as it gets a little more mature. But that is a Suillus. And this here, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it looks like a Enoki uh, cousin, but it is uh, not an Enoki. I mean, it's got the wrong coloration and and I mean, it looks similar in a lot of ways, so I'm not sure. I'm not ready to say what that is. But it, see, that's, you can see that it was grown off of hardwood too, which the Enoki do. So it's probably some kind of a cousin to an Enoki. And if you look at it careful, you can even see it, it almost looks like it has a little bit of velvet foot to it. So it's very possible that this is uh, an Enoki, just a different uh, subspecies of it. Um, might be worth taking that and, and looking into that closer. Should have a white spore print if it is an Enoki. Sweet. So here's a whole bunch more of those uh, mushrooms that uh, Holly had just found. Uh, here's a bunch here that I just ran into. Wow, look at the Rosellas pop in this area. That is a lot of Rosellas. There's a few more puffballs. Ah, a couple more oh, yeah. puffballs there. And we got another Belitis atlas. I think this is number eight, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And nine's right there. Oh, and there's number nine. Look, how about that? <laughs> nice. Oh, that one looks so pretty. Good boy. Guy's kind of eaten, so he might be a little nasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's okay. He just had one little spot got eaten through. But... Nice. Oh. Look at those. Look at this one we just found. Super nice. Why don't you go ahead and pull it up? Let's see what it looks okay. like. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a bleed of settles, but it looks a little different, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the chipmunks like it. Yeah. <laughs> There's another little guy. Yeah, definitely a bleed acetylus. But uh, I can tell this one, worms already got to that one pretty bad. So it was a bleed acetylus, but I'm not, it's not worth eating. Still. It's 11 we found today. Okay, look at this one that Adam just found. Looks like it's got a big bulb. Wow. Oh, it broke off a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, that's oh, that's great. It's amazing how these bleed us will have that small cap and then a stock that's so bulbous it's, it's like four times the weight, if not <laughs> ten times the weight as the cap. Pretty little bleed acetylus. Okay, so just found these. I think these may be some more chanterelles. Let's 
pull these up and let's see. Yes, definitely. Look at those chanterelles. Nice. There's one over there too. I'm gonna have to look around. Maybe I'll find a few more. Nice little clump. All right, so I think we're done for the day. Uh, it's super fun, another really good successful mushroom hunt. Uh, we end up with like a dozen horsey neck. Yeah, like, they're pretty close. Leading to settle us, right? Yeah. And we found some chanterelles. We uh, found a lot of really interesting mushrooms. Uh, how'd you guys like it today? Did you have fun? That was yeah. so good. Yeah. Very educational. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. good. Good, and you know, and one thing I learned about these these two, they're no, they're not newbies. They know a, a lot of their mushrooms. They they're actually really, really good. Um, uh, really impressed with them. So uh, these guys are. Uh, uh, one day they're going to be right there at the top top mycologists in the states. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> they put a lot of time into their studies and so forth. But thanks so much for coming out with me today. Yes, thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. This is always a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. All right. Now, again, thank you for watching this episode of uh, Utah Mushroom Hunter. We'll see you in the next episode. Subscribe. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Subscribe, like, click the bell. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I appreciate it when you guys uh, support the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. All right, we will see you in that next episode. Okay, so on my way down, I saw an area. This is after saying goodbye to Adam and Holly. Um, I saw an area. I just thought I would uh, uh, just jump out and just look around just for a little bit. And I've already found a bleed of atlas. This is closer to 8,000 feet, so it's, it is a little bit lower. I, um, the Adam had mentioned that they had found some at about 8,000 feet. I, I'll have to double check, see exactly how many, uh, the altitude of where I'm at right here uh, later. But, uh, but I just came down and uh, I looked, I thought I would just look around, and, and I found me a bleed of settlers. So let me turn this around so you can see it. This is it right here. Well, it's actually two of them, two of them together. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of a bad spot there, but definitely bleed us out of That uh, brings it to 14 for the day. There is another nice bleed us out Look at that. It's in such good shape. It's 15 for the day. Wow. Okay, so I just barely pulled these out of the ground. Look how they look. They've got the rings. This might be a honey mushroom. This is where I pulled them out from, right down there at the base of this uh, dead pine tree. And Let's see, it's hard to see, but I think I see the little teeny hairs. I think uh, that the honey mushrooms have. I'll have to take a closer look at that. But this may might be honey mushrooms. There's some more of those coming out of this uh, dead tree. And I just found this clump of them as well. Here is another Amanita. Amanita muscaria. Nice big one. Look at that one. Such a nice specimen. And there's another one right back here. Look at that. Leave those alone. Okay, so I just gotta stop and enjoy a few raspberries, wild raspberries. Well, this particular area has a bunch of those, which I believe are honey mushrooms. Look at that. I picked this one as well. Look at this. There's another 
gorgeous, gorgeous bleed of satellites. Oh, this one is pretty. Look at that. That's perfect. My goodness. Holy cow. Look at that. Here's another puffball, a good sized one. Nice. So when I first saw this thing, I thought it was a puffball. And when I pulled it up, 100% an Amanita. So it's easy to confuse those. And, and this one has grown enough that I don't have to cut in half to see. But this one's definitely an Amanita. And there are some more Amanitas. My goodness. Amanitas are crazy right now. Look at that. That is a gorgeous Amanita. Again, do not eat these. There are some more Amanitas. Okay, I, I searched in this uh, lower elevation area for about 30 minutes or so, found four more Bleedus Atlas. Uh, found some what I believe are the fla uh, uh, Flamulana vepulites. I'm not, probably not saying that quite right. Uh, and um, possibly some honey mushrooms as well. And uh, also uh, quite a few amanitas. There's a, oh, and that fun um, uh, puffball as well. So there's a lot of fun mushrooms in this area, uh, but I gotta get going. I'm, I'm behind schedule, gotta get back. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. Hope there was some new mushrooms that you saw and that this was a, a, a good episode for you. Anyway, uh, uh, let me know what questions you're having regarding mushroom hunting. You can put it down in the comments. Super interested to hear maybe what I can do to address some of your questions. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.